Hello, good morning my dear students. Today we will see some of the teaching learning methods. The method of teaching in which approaches most likely to method of investigation. That is the definition given by Burke. Teachers, there are teacher centered methods, there are learner centered methods. Teacher centered methods, teacher plays a major role. It includes lecture, demonstration, bedside clinic. Learner centered methods include learner plays a major role. That includes care plan, case written demonstration, role play, project work, self learning methods. All comes under the teacher centered methods. Characteristic of a teaching learning method imparting knowledge in an efficient manner, it includes the desirable values and proper attitudes and habits of work in the students. It creates a genuine attachment to the work and desire to do it effectively, efficiently, honestly, and thoroughly as possible. It provides opportunities for the students to learn actively and apply practically the knowledge that they have acquired in the classroom. Clear thinking and clear expression both in speech and writing has to be taken place. Trains the learners in the techniques of study, methods of acquiring knowledge through the personal effort and initiative. Criteria for selection of teaching method include it should be suited to the objectives and content of the subject, it should be suited to the level of the students, it should be based on sound psychological principle, it should be used creatively. It should be suited to the teacher's style. Teacher has to rely on his or her own strength or assets while selecting the teaching method. Method should be address the challenges. Selection should consider the available resources. Then the first one is lecture method. We all are familiar with lecture method. It's a Latin word lecture means read aloud. Lecture is a teaching activity whereby the teacher presents the content in a comprehensible manner by explaining the facts, principles and relationships during which the teacher is expected to elicit the student participation by employing appropriate technique. The purpose of lecture method to provide a structured knowledge, to motivate and guide in hunting knowledge, to arouse student interest in the subject, introduce the students to a new area of learning, to clarify difficult concepts, to assist in preparing the students for discussion, to promote critical thinking. These are the purpose of the lectures. The principles of lecture method include First principle, the principle of aim, that means the lecture is based on the aim, what we are going to take or what's the aim of our class with the teacher should have clearly defined in his mind. The principle of activity, that is actively exp active participation, especially the lecture method is a teacher centered method. So the students will be, act if not, they are not actively participating. They can, the teachers can actively participate the students by asking questions. The principle of correlations, examples from daily life to correlate because as I told you earlier, it's a teacher centered method. So the students will be feel bored. So that can be avoided by correlating examples from the daily life. Then principle of planning, there should be scientific planning. That means what to take how to take it, what all content has to be included in a particular topic. So that has to be planned well. Principle of looking ahead. Based on the past experience of the teacher, certain predictions made about the future of the child. The good lecture need efficient preparation. Lecturing techniques. It's a voluntary dissemination of information voice gradation and voice quality that means when it comes to the important points we have to our voice should be stressed on particular point then only the students will have listened the quality of the voice then ad adequate pacing should be the between the words proper body language and uh, means mannerism should be avoided control annoying mannerism 
then judicious use of the audio visual aids that means when a lecturing method we should use the judicial because we should not can miss make all the notes in the lect means uh, either in the isp or something we should have additional explanation to that simple plans and key points should be prepared elicit feedback from the students provide future further clarification of the students and time has to be managed whatever time is given to us it has to be managed properly then components of a lecture include introduction of the lecture this take 3 to 5 minutes main purpose to provide framework for the students learning second the body of lecture it covers kind in an organized way since it is commons allotted the greatest amount of class time the last the conclusion of the lecture advantages of lecture method include economical method of teaching provide all facilities it can be conducted for 1 is 2 to 200 provide all facilities means proper mic seating arrangement if all the everything is available we can take it for 200 students at a stretch enhances the listening capacity of the students meet the learning needs of the students easy for teacher to prepare and execute the teacher can express idea very effectively by his tone facial expressions and gestures it provide better opportunity or clarification of important things it can be organized according to the psychological principles like stimulus variation give the students training and not making ability it provide personal contact and personality development The disadvantage of lecture method include teacher can practice lecture method without preparation. Many lectures fail to meet the objectives. More concern the teaching of facts and information. Less attention is given to the problem solving and critical thinking. Lecturing is not conducive for meeting the students' individual learning needs, and it do not provide independent learning. Difficult to adapt individual learning difference. It is a one-way communication. and it is a teacher centered little scope for the student activity not considering the individual differences against the principles of teaching and learning and also it encourages spoon feeding strategies to overcome the disadvantage although there are many disadvantage lecturing method is one of the method which accepted by the many of the universities and colleges to take the classes so by following some of the strategies we can overcome the disadvantages sign posting for clear direction emphasize higher level intellectual skill make lecture is more interactive by including the students actively participating in the class less memorizing of word facts and more construction of meaning and there is a another term known as interactive lecture it is a combination of lecture discussion and questioning modified version of traditional lecture method class time can be logically and effectively divided into sessions for lecture informal discussions questioning more lecture and so on so it will be effective the second teaching learning method is demonstration it is the method of teaching by exhibition and explanation combined to illustrate a procedure or experiment it is defined as an activity that describes or illustrates by experiment or practical application during demonstration one displays operate and explains phases the planning and preparation phase performance phase and evaluation phase planning and preparation phase include set a well defined objective based on theoretical knowledge and need of the students review of related knowledge based on the scientific principle split the demonstration into appropriate steps so that the students can easily follow the demonstration do rehearsals as needed for attaining the proficiency required in conducting the demonstration if the demonstration involves the patient consider the safety also create a conducive and learning environment by providing adequate facilities especially the facility to observe the demonstration plan for maximum student participation ensure adequacy and good working condition of the experiments plan for written demonstration give necessary guidance to the students for achieving the objective and explain what is expected prepare a checklist regarding the articles and steps second phase is preparation now the object 
know the group and their level, understand the procedure, review the step of procedure, use true life setting, assemble the equipment, ensure the good view for all the participants, advance knowledge, use positive approach, perform steps in a sequence, offering running comments, judge speed and timing, discussion period, and at the last it is a written demonstration. Whenever possible, involve the students also in the performance phase. In between, ask questions and encourage just to see clarification. Replace the articles, demonstrate the aftercare of the articles, show the recording of the procedure, conclude the performance phase with the discussion. Performance phase, the teacher performs the demonstration based on the principles of proceeding from the world to part. Explain the name and use of the articles. Explain the purpose and scientific principles associated with each step. Face the steps and verbal explanation in a student-friendly manner. Make sure the students have understood each step. Third phase is the evaluation phase. Evaluation done mainly through the written demonstration and asking provoking questions. Thank you for listening. If you have any comments, please write it.